risky though, right? Late in that round? Yeah, the second half of that round, Patrick, the back nine, you're going to be looking at the threat of a thunderstorm passing through. I'll be like, 25 over par at that point. <laughs> so it'll be a good excuse, leave. right? Yeah. Uh, for those of us uh, that are headed into work or school this morning, the roadways are dry, it's warm, and it's humid out there. The temperature's upper 60s in Providence already, 70 in Westerly, a little cooler in New Bedford. There's a lot of clouds around this morning. You can see it from our Newport Harbor camera. And we are tracking a gusty wind today, up to 30 miles per hour from the south southwest, so breezy. And then evening thunderstorms are a possibility. Timing wise, we're thinking after five or six in the evening. So there's a risk of a strong or severe storm. Highest risk of severe weather north and west of Providence. We'll show you an hour by hour look at that. And of course, tracking Dorian. It is going to be uh, very close to the Florida coastline through the day today, then up through Georgia, North Carolina and South Carolina shoreline uh, tomorrow into uh, tomorrow night. And it still could make landfall in the Carolinas. Very close call for communities like Wilmington and the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It's a category two hurricane right now, 105 mile per hour sustained winds. You can see those outer rain bands stretching up from Charleston down through Savannah and across the northeastern part of Florida this morning. Here's the latest track. It's expected to maintain its strength over the next two days. So still expected to be a category two hurricane as it brushes by South Carolina tomorrow and then North Carolina. And from there, it's expected to be a category one hurricane as it passes well to our south and east. This is in the middle of the night, Friday night into Saturday morning, a category one hurricane with 85 mile per hour sustained winds on this path. It's far enough away. The hurricane force winds, not a threat to our area. Worst of the rainfall would stay offshore, but we'd likely get some impacts. Here's what we're thinking. So late Friday into early Saturday, we're thinking more Friday evening and Friday night. We get a period of rainfall around here. Again, a shift in the track a little further away. Most of that could miss our area. If it tracks a little bit closer, we'd have the potential for some of the heavier rainfall. Right now, greatest risk of tropical storm force wind gusts would be the outer Cape and Nantucket. High surf and rip currents are a likely for the shores of uh, Rhode Island and into southeastern Massachusetts for Friday and the weekend. Here's the risk of tropical storm force winds, and you can see at higher risk over Nantucket right now, Providence only a 10% chance. Let's talk chances of severe weather. Highest risk for today is in that area of yellow, and it's in the later afternoon and evening hours. A strong thunderstorm is possible, could get some hail along with the damaging wind gust threat. It's from this cold front. The front's going to sweep offshore later this evening and tonight and bring about some cooler weather behind it. Here's an hour by hour look. We're at noon in the mid to upper 70s. Winds picking up for the afternoon. Highs into the lower 80s away from the shoreline. Mid and upper 70s at the coast. This is 6 o'clock in the evening. There's that thunderstorm approaching, so it'll be strong potentially over Worcester and Hartford, but would likely weaken as it approaches the more stable air that we're going to see here in southeastern New England. So that ocean influence going to likely uh, bring some weakening storms to southeastern New England. We'll still have to keep an eye on it. Clearing skies overnight tonight and a cooler start tomorrow morning between 55 and 60 when you wake up. The temperatures tomorrow afternoon into the upper 70s. There's that cooler air. Friday, increasing clouds. Again, most of the day is dry. Evening and nighttime rain a possibility. And right now I have those showers lingering into Saturday morning before the skies clear up. Watch for dangerous rip currents at the beaches this weekend. Sunday is the better half of the weekend. As the temperatures be a little warmer, the skies are dry. And that forecast with Chief Meteorologist uh, Tony Petrarca tonight 